Welcome to Crop Circle Studio, home of prop culture. What is prop culture? Let me show you. As you see, I mean, we're pretty much surrounded by the things of nightmares and fantasy, of um, items that we've either collected or fabricated over the years. You know, all those things that you see in the celluloid that you just wish were real in some way that just are beyond your grasp. We break away from doing just the reproductions of things that you've seen to making original pieces too because we do have our own vision. That is a conceptual Mouth of Sauron helmet. We had the joy of having conceptual designer from Lord of the Rings, John Howe here. He's been doing a painting uh, of this character for us to do as a sculpture. To get into this, start playing with clays and, and uh, start doing sculptures or doing drawings. Uh, work on your own and build up a portfolio of something that you can show to someone. Richard is working on a, uh, a sculpture. Was that your mother? You were doing you were doing one for your mom, or it's a it's a creature sculpt. Sorry, I, I I I've met his mother and she doesn't look anything like that. Richard has a lot of nightmares. Reese, on the other hand, is working on a, an eye circuit for the uh, Centurion, which is that familiar sweeping eye. Uh, he's putting together circuits. That's what I mean. He kind of works like really well like that. And... Hi there, I'm Scott Maple. <laughs> That's not funny. Hi. <laughs> okay, stop that. Uh, at first, it, it did take some getting used to. I mean, when the lights were out and walking around the house, there was always a presence there. We never really feel like we're alone. It, it makes for a very interesting living. There's an awful lot of people that aren't expecting to meet a Cylon Centurion at the front door. Extermination. They're actually quite useful around the house. There's an awful lot of uh, abilities that uh, these characters have that uh, they can aid everyone in, in the modern day. I have to go get some groceries. Can you hold on to me for a second? R2, of course, you know, he's, he's got a thing for all things electronic. Uh, how did all this porn get on here, R2? It is a little tiring at times to have, uh, you know, these people always in your life. I want him out of here. I can't take this anymore. No, he has to leave. They don't have the greatest no. eating habits and you know, just in general looking after themselves. General upkeep, if you will. Did you wash your hands? They just don't fit well in the rest of society. And here they can be themselves. We did uh, a number of pranks with the CBC that we brought about a number of pieces that we made out into the public and, and saw what kind of effect they would have on people. We brought a ring wraith out into a movie theater. We did a, a flopping fish, which was a prop that we brought into a fish and chip restaurant. We did a fake ATM with money hanging out of it. We did a tipping statue prank, one with an R2 and one with a statue in a principal's office. We did uh, a pea doll. We did a disgusting creature in the basket. And after the CBC thing, we were sort of energized about it. And we took on a few pranks that we decided to do and conduct on our own. Some of those didn't quite go just like we planned. Ah, that was great. That was beautiful. The way you thought it was a Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shut up, so at the end of the day, there are ups and downs to the business. Are you playing along with the RT pin? But I cannot imagine myself doing anything else. Put down your weapon. Put down your weapon. It is the most fulfilling and creative job that we've ever made for ourselves. We sort of had to figure a way to be able to play every day, and that's what we made here. Oh. Bone with a P. Yep. And Parker, you like you. Okay, okay, all right. Just a second. Thank you. Come again.